Hi Internet! As we delve deeper into the development of our Souls-like game, a question that perpetually haunts us is how games with colossal inventories such as Skyrim, The Witcher 3, or Elden Ring manage to keep track of thousands of items. These games feature an overwhelming array of weapons, armors, potions, and countless other items, each with unique properties and lore. How do they organize this vast amount of data without succumbing to chaos? How do they ensure that each item enhances the game's world without becoming a burden to manage? In our game, Requiem for the Flame, every item carries its unique set of statistics, damage values, leveling and scaling systems, descriptions, and abilities. Managing this complexity is a formidable task. How do we ensure that every weapon scales appropriately with the player's level, or that each consumable has the intended effect? Keeping track of each item's intricate details, from its statistical impact to its functional role in the game's ecosystem, requires more than just meticulous organization. It demands a robust system capable of handling dynamic changes and relationships between items and gameplay. With a little bit of coding knowledge, you might be familiar with arrays, but those can only store data of one type. Only the names of each item, only the damage of each weapon. This would quickly get extremely messy when adding more parameters. Our solution is super crazy exciting and so cool and totally not boring. Get ready, drumroll please. Data tables. Data tables in Unreal Engine are essentially spreadsheets within the engine. They allow developers to store various types of data in a tabular format which can be easily referenced and updated. This feature is particularly useful for managing items, as each row in a table can represent a different item, and each column can represent different attributes such as the item's name, the type, the description, or the damage. Our item spreadsheet is structured to include essential attributes for each item, so when we need to reference any item, for instance, the pebble, the game will know that the pebble is classified as a consumable with a description, it's a rock, and a specific image path for its in-game sprite. This organization allows us to quickly access and modify item details directly from the Unreal Editor or from Google Sheets, making it easy to adjust descriptions, types, or associate images with items without touching any code. Data tables are actually really simple to add to Unreal. First, we take our spreadsheet, export it as a CSV, and simply drag it in... Oh yeah, before we drag it in, we have to make a structure for the table. This is so Unreal can know which kind of variable you want each column to be stored as. If it's a number, let's store it as an integer. If it's a name, let's store it as a name. If it's an image, let's store it as a 2D texture. Now we can drag in our table and bazinga, look at that. Each of our columns is now separated into different variable types that we can reference with this little node right here. When a player picks up a new weapon or item, the game queries these tables to retrieve all necessary information and place it in the UI. When the player presses E, the floor item spawns UI. The UI asks the floor item, which item are you? The floor item responds with the row name on the data table. Now the UI gets the data table, splits it into each of the columns, takes the item name, sets the name, takes the image, sets the image, etc. We can use the exact same methodology to make an inventory. Each of the items currently in the player's inventory are stored in the player's blueprint. When we open the inventory, the UI gets the player's items, sorts them by whichever type we are on, and then displays those in alphabetical order. As you may have noticed, the item sheet does not store the damage of each weapon. For this, we have created a second data table. The reason the damage isn't stored in the item's data table is because any other item type doesn't need to have damage. We will never need the pebble to have a base damage, scaling, or poise damage. So we separated this into a new spreadsheet that can be referenced by anything that needs to get the player's damage. For example, whenever you change weapons, this function fires, and it takes the data table we created, does some math to calculate the extra damage from scaling, and sets that as the player's damage, which can be referenced when the player attacks. We hope our experience can serve as a resource for other developers exploring Unreal Engine's capabilities. As we continue to refine our game, we look forward to sharing more insights on effective development practices. Thank you guys so much for the support. Love y'all. Bye.